Eastern Kentucky is getting help from all over the country right now to rebuild after the devastating floods. And people here in the tri-state are among those stepping up. Local 12's Kristen Cornett has a look at some local nonprofits on a mission. When floodwaters rose to historic levels in eastern Kentucky, they destroyed houses, claimed lives, and really hit home for people like Jerry Reiner. Those pictures, um, it is, it just, it touches my heart. I have slept in the homes of some of these pastors' homes. I have cried with uh, a lot of the families in these trailers. Reiner and his wife founded the Westchester-based nonprofit Project 5-2. For the last 14 years, they've worked closely with the Happy Church in Jackson, Kentucky making monthly trips there and supporting the community however they can. Today, he's on a mission to raise $1 million for continued flooding relief efforts. His goal, to rebuild the church community. This is not an easy cleanup. Um, been down through this area enough, and I know they have nothing to begin with, um, so they need our help in, in northern Kentucky and Cincinnati. Reiner put me in touch with Vanessa Tabor Blinn. Her father is one of the pastors at the Happy Church, and she grew up in the community. She says physical donations have been pouring in, but the problem is people don't even have places to put things. We have people coming daily just to get a new pair of underwear that they can wear for the day or a new pair of socks that they can wear for the day because they don't have anywhere to clean or dry to put those things. That's why Reiner's focusing on monetary donations. And Tabor Blinn says that million dollar goal would go a long way. Um, trailers for people to live in would be, as of right now, my biggest I mean, I just can't even begin to tell you the difference that that would make in the lives of these, of the lives of these families. Yeah, Vanessa, who you just heard from, is uh, she's actually an ER nurse, and she works in Indiana. Of course, she grew up in that community with her father as the pastor there, and she's been there ever since the flooding happened, just trying to help them try to get back on their feet. And Project 5-2 also works very closely with a Child's Hope International, which is a Sharonville charity. This is where I am this morning. They share this warehouse space behind me. And earlier this week, I actually saw them right before they were getting ready to pack up a truck full of socks, feminine hygiene products, cereal, things like that, as they're were making their trip, actually Jerry's first one, who you heard from in that story, down to Eastern Kentucky to see some of that flooding damage for himself. So they want to rebuild the church and they need some help to do that, of course, the church community at that and some of the surrounding areas if they can. So we have links on local12.com uh, to these different charities. All of those go directly to victims in Eastern Kentucky. I also have the link to the Team Kentucky. That's the state's official website to help out uh, people there if you feel so inclined. For now, reporting in Sharonville, Kristen Cornette, Local 12 News.